what up so as you saw in the title we're going to be changing the oil on the giveaway truck it's a 1995 suzuki carry i ordered a wix 51394 from amazon because i went to a couple stores and they didn't have it and i got this but it does say 51394 so i guess it's a cross reference and it's just as good but it takes three quarts of oil we're going to use this and i've never changed one on a carry but it should be pretty similar to every other truck so i'm on the driver's side the drain plug is right here and then on the passenger side you're able to see the filter right where the battery is right there so you don't really have to jack it up i'm gonna do it just because i have a jack but if you ever were to get stranded i think you'd be good without it so it's probably gonna be a short video i don't really have anything else to talk about um i mean i can do the five things i hate do like a couple other videos i mean let me know in the comments too we're down to 98 tickets too by the way so a lot of people who are always like yo i'm gonna wait till it gets lower i'm gonna wait till it gets lower those people are now starting to buy tickets i'm gonna be going to that northeast right hand drive meet on saturday too so if you're there i will have the k truck there nice and clean but yeah that's pretty much it it's about to rain if it wasn't gonna rain i would have also painted my calipers yellow so i'm gonna be doing this on the bravo it looks very yellow though so i'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing but i'm excited to see what that looks like if it looks terrible I'll probably either just do blue instead or maybe I'll buy red, but I don't want to be basic and do red. So I'm either going to do what I want to do is yellow. This is option one. And then if that looks bad, I'll just do blue because as you can see, the blue really pops and I think it'll pop. I think whatever color I do on the van is going to look because there really isn't no color scheme there. So without further ado though, let's jack this thing up. Okay, so the oil pan bolt is a 17. I already got it kind of loose. Let's see. Nice pour. Now that most of the oil is gone, we're now going to go to the passenger side. Take out this seat. You just have to unclip this. And now we're going to loosen this guy. Put him over here. Let's get this filter off. Straight from Japan. So now that the old oil is all out, we're gonna take our new filter, do a little of this. Can someone let me know in the comments what this is? Like, what does this do exactly? I mean, I guess it lubricates it so it can stick on better, but I've always just seen people do that and then we're gonna add a little bit of this new oil in here so it's not completely empty when I put it in. So let me go do that right now. And you just wanna have it snug. Like you don't wanna have it too tight where the next time I'm gonna have to take it off, it's gonna be a complete pain, but we just got that done. I made a little mess. So let me go clean all that up. Um, once all this is done, I'm going to definitely clean under there. But, all right, new filter is in. Time to put in some oil. Okay, so I took out the whole seat just because I didn't want to get any chances of getting oil on the nice, beautiful seat. So we're going to put the first cord in while the truck is still elevated, and then I'm going to drop it. I just want to make sure nothing is leaking because I ordered a Wix one, but I got that. So let's put this first cord in. All right, let me make sure there's nothing leaking under here. Everything looks good. So now let me drop the car. And now let's put our other two quarts of oil. So I took out both seats while we let the oil kind of just settle in. And I'll show you guys the engine bay a little bit. But closer look at the alternator. Here's the air filter. Um, I think it looks fine. If it was me though, I think I'd put a K&N filter here. Seeing how they have the little metal here, I don't really think it'll suck up that much water. And I think it'll add a nice little tone to it. But air filter's right there. Let's go to the other side, but let me show you guys a little more down here. Um, this is still nice in the plastic. Uh, what else do you guys want to see? This. Not too shabby. Now let's go to the other side. 
So on this side, you can see more of the mechanical stuff. So we got the spark plugs right there. There's this paper right here. I can't confirm, but it says 3615. So that means 630, 2015 and 58,000. So I don't know if that means the timing bell got changed at that point, but the truck has 66,000 on it. So I don't know if that's what it means. And maybe if it does, maybe if it doesn't, but you guys saw how it was idling. I mean, it runs really good. I just did an oil change right now because I figured we're at 98 tickets. This thing could be done in a week, could be done in two weeks. Let me at least do a nice fresh oil change for that person. But here's the dipstick. Uh, you still got your jack, washer fluid reservoir. Got the exhaust manifold. Nice little small engine. But uh, yeah, I guess we could start it right now and see how it sounds. See it moving too. So I'll keep the camera right there. Accessory. That's on a cold start too. You guys heard once it like once it gets into temperature, it's much quieter than it is right now. But that's see this whole video. Pretty easy oil change. What was this like? 10 minutes. Um, that's another thing I love about K trucks. Doing anything maintenance related, besides the fact that it's hard to find parts if something bad, like if an alternator goes bad, I can't do that in 10 minutes. But oil changes, basic maintenance. I checked the radiator. I was gonna address the fluid too, but it's bright green. I guess that got changed. Maybe Amir, maybe Todd did it. The oil change probably wasn't that long ago either, but just for peace of mind, I figured I'd do it. That's the end of this video. That was a nice quick oil change on the 1995 Suzuki Carry K truck. Oh, look, you can hear it already. It's getting much quieter. It's settling in right now. The car was like, all right, I'm good now. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. And fun little fact, this light works. <laughs> peace.